Happy 2014, everybody. Today's uh, first Mindset Monday of 2014. I'm here with our very good friend and uh, esteemed special guest, Dr. Rob Gilbert. We have some great things going on for 2014 to get your year started. Dr. Gilbert, take it away. Great to see you. So, sir. talk about the goal setting. Yes, sir. What's happening? So, we have a, we have a mission to get everyone that trains in the GFP family the best results they've ever gotten in 2014. It's, an, it's a mission among myself and it's a mission among the GFP team to help you guys and we're putting all these tools in place. We're bringing Dr. Gilbert in to do a goal set meeting. Um, you'll also be doing uh, private meetings with me if you'd like uh, to help you set your goals to achieve everything you want, uh, to achieve the first step and everything you want into 2014. And I would, you know, the, I told you before, there's a really, really nice feeling at your gym. And you have people in extraordinary shape and moderate shape and poor shape and all that. But would you say that most of the people that come to your gym, they might not, they might be on different levels, but they all want to get to the next level. Absolutely. Okay. Everyone coming here wants to get to yeah. some kind and of So result. that's what we're talking about. And that's what goal setting is all about. Because the first step to getting what you want is knowing what you want. You know, the first step. So um, let me take this. Can you stand up over there? Sure. I know you'll be off camera. And I know you're a good basketball player. So just throw it in, in the basket. Perfect. And how did that work? That worked because you saw the target. Yeah, stay over there. Okay. Now what I'd like to do is to give you this. Okay. And close your eyes. Let me turn you around. Let's spin you around a little bit. Okay. Spin you around a little bit. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. Okay. Let's see you get that. Yep, <laughs> pretty close. So the whole the whole thing there is well, you can't see a goal, how you're gonna hit a goal. You know? So Zig Ziglar the You can't see a goal, how you're gonna hit a goal. That's all. Zig Ziglar, the great motivational speaker who died last year, said, I could beat the world's greatest archer, the gold medalist in archery, I could beat them. If you put us at the archery line and face us towards the target, but if you take the gold medalist and put a blindfold on and spin the person around, I'm gonna beat them. You know, because so that's what we're talking about. So our session on what's the date? Uh, it's going to be January thirteenth. That's a Monday night at eight p.m. And see, the whole thing is goal setting could be really, really, really boring. The way a lot of people do goal setting, but goal setting could be incredibly motivational. So suppose you weigh six hundred pounds and you go through a whole goal setting thing, and they say, okay. My goal is a year from now, I want to weigh 580 pounds. Uh, there's no excitement there. A year from now, I'm going to be 150 pounds. There's excitement there. So m one of my theories that we'll go over is you want extraordinarily you know, high goals. There's a story I tell. Two salespeople, they go to a goal setting seminar. And they're brothers. And you know, at the end of the seminar, the uh, seminar leader says, okay, we've got to put theory into action. He passed out an index card to everybody. He passed out an envelope. He said, write down your goal for this year. And they both write down their goals. They seal it. And the guy said, write on the envelope. Do not open until New Year's Eve. So New Year's Eve, they're together. And they say, hey, let's take out our envelopes. So one guy takes out his envelope on his index card. He said, I will make $50,000 this year. He said, this is unbelievable. This stuff works. I made $50,000 this year. His brother opens it up. And he said, uh, I only made it halfway to my goal. And the brother looks at it and says, 500000 He only made it halfway to his goal, but he made 10 times as much money. So one of my favorite motivational quotes is, if you shoot for the moon and miss, at least you'll be one of the stars. If you shoot for the moon and miss, at least you'll be one of the stars. So what we're going to do with the seminar, we're going to do hands-on stuff. There's going to be a lot of quotes. There's going to be a lot of stories. There's going to be a lot of audience participation. And hopefully, you're going to leave not with goals, but with goals you're excited about achieving. You know, you know, like, have you ever run a marathon? No. Could you run a marathon? Yes. Yeah. I mean, anybody could do it if you have the drive. If you, you know, so if you have a big enough why, you'll find and do the how. If you have a big enough why, you'll find and do the how. This is one thing we're going to do with the seminar. One of the greatest athletes who ever lived was from Plainfield, New Jersey. His name was Milt Campbell. Did I ever tell you about him? Yes. So imagine this, before his junior year in high school, he wins a silver medal in the decathlon. Before his junior year in high school, four years later, he comes back and wins a gold medal in the decathlon. So, and then he became a motivational speaker. So he won his gold medal in 1956, 1996. He's at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. And there are 20 guys trying out for the Olympic decathlon team. And he says, how many of you have goals? Everybody put their hand up. How many of you have your goals 
uh, written down. Everybody put their hand up. How many of you have your goals written down and with you right now? Nobody put their hand up. At that seminar, there was a guy named Dan O'Brien. He left the seminar, went to a 7-Eleven, got some index cards. Number one, I will win the 1996 gold medal at Decathlon. Number two, I will score a world record number of points. And number three, when I walk down the street, people will say, there goes the greatest athlete in the world. Now, Dan O'Brien is an Olympic champion, and now Dan O'Brien is a motivational speaker, and now Dan O'Brien passes up the same card I do. So you're gonna get one of these cards. Number one, do you have goals? Number two, do you have your goals written down? And number three, do you have your written down goals with you right now? And the fun thing about me, I, I teach at Montclair State, every year at graduation, I have kids come up to me, say, Dr. Gilbert, it works, it works. You said, write down, I will graduate Montclair State with honors in you know, May 2014, and they show me their cards. So that's what we're gonna do, some really, really simple stuff, some really, really advanced stuff, and some really, really motivational stuff. But here's the only thing I can guarantee. All the stuff we're doing works. One proviso. I can guarantee everything we're gonna do works if you work it. You know, if you actually work it. So tell me a time in your life that you set a goal and reached it. The, the time, this is very clear. It's the easiest, uh, it's the easiest time I can remember. I, when I was a freshman in high school, and I think I wrote about this recently in the Mindset Monday, um, I, I wanted to play Division One football, and I wanted to earn a scholarship. And that might be when I was younger, the only, the only time I actually ever wrote down a goal. I did not have it on me, yeah. um, but, but I did. I wrote that down to, to receive a Division One scholarship for football, and I did. Eventually, uh, I, my senior year, I got a scholarship to Temple University. Okay. And did you have any friends that, you know, they say, well, whatever. You know, I hope I play in college and all that. Sure. You know, they, they don't have it concretized. Yeah. yeah. And so we'll talk about smart goals, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timed. And so it, it actually, actually works. Now, the thing that doesn't work is you never hear a person saying, you know, I was just working at a medial job at our company, and next day I'm president, you know? You know, I was just ha hiking around one day, and I end up at the top of Mount Everest. You know, that doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. People say, okay, in 1996, I set the goal to scale Mount Everest, and 10 years later, I finally did it, you know? My first day at the company was I was working the mail room. I said, someday I'm gonna be CEO of this company. And so everything starts with goal setting. And the most important thing about goal setting is there's energy and goals. You know, there's energy and goals. So that's about it. At, at, so it's uh, Monday night, January 13th, 8 p.m. Please, please be here for Dr. Gilbert. Here's what we want. We want families. This is only open to Gabriel Fitness uh, clients. We're not advertising to the outside. This is only open to our clients and their families. So if you are a middle school athlete and your parents don't train here, please feel free to bring them. Okay. If you are an adult and you have children, please feel to bring the entire lot. Okay, this is something we're really excited about for 2014. We brought in the best, probably the best in the world to help us. So if we can't do it this year, I don't know what we're going to do next year. Uh, so uh, January 13th, please be there. Uh, thanks so much for coming, Dr. Gilbert. Appreciate one, it. One last thing. If you want a little head start on this, I have something called Success Hotline, and every single day I leave a motivational message, and the number is 973-743-4690, 973-743-4690. And every day there's a motivational message. I'm not saying it's every day is about goals, but it's all about motivation, inspiration. So one of the habits that I picked up in 2013 was calling your hotline. Um, I have about a six-minute commute to work, yeah. and your messages are all three minutes long. Yeah. So every uh, every time I drive to work, I listen to your message, and it's at outstanding. One, one last thing. I had a guy call me the other day. He said, when I was 18 years old, six years ago, Somebody gave me your number. He said, I was renting a room in a motel for $10 a day. He said, I, my father just committed suicide. He had this unbelievable story. He said, I listen to your messages every day, and it got me thinking about goals and energy and stuff like that. He said, now I just paid off my half million dollar house. I'm married, I had my first kid, and I'm president of my own company. Unbelievable. <laughs> He's 24 years old. Monday night, January 13th, 8 p.m. Please be here, GFP family. Thank you very much.